Okay, so today was a great day. I went to so many stores. I think I went to at least four Targets. I went to a Walmart. Walmarts are really kind of a bust as of late. Eh. Um, not much of anything really. Um, and I also went to a few GameStops, which are pretty cool. Um, which actually did yield some good results for the most part. GameStops are pretty stock. I think they have a sale right now going on too, where if you fill up one of their little grab bags, um, you can get up to 20% off whatever you can fill in that bag for, to for collectibles. So that's pretty cool. So I want to quickly go over today's haul. Check this out. To start things off, I, I could not resist. I had to grab this. This premium Hot Wheel of the Mystery Machine. It was basically just calling my name. Look at that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Alright, and... One other thing, I think a lot of people are sleeping on these figures. I don't think that uh, Mattel anticipated the demand for them, so therefore the quantities were really low. But we're basically, this is the Amber collection of Jurassic Park uh, figures, basically the original uh, film. And I had to grab Ian Malcolm because, of course, Jeff Goldblum, one of my favorite actors. Um, luckily, the crazy thing is, I found this at Quake, but I went to at least four Targets. And they were all completely sold out of this particular character. There was Ellie Sadler and John Hammond, but of course, no Ian, uh, no Grant, Alan Grant, and of course, no uh, Ian Malcolm. So I was so grateful that I found this because, I mean, it was nowhere to be found anywhere else. Uh, then we got, I just had to pick this up because I don't have any Arnold in my collection. And I do want some T2 Arnolds, but there's so much right now. But I had to grab the uh, Terminator T-800, a Dark Fate Terminator. Uh, they did a great job on the sculpt on this guy. I think they did an excellent job. So I had to grab him. Uh, and then this is something I have been looking for uh, for a while. And I can't believe that I was able to find it um, for a very reasonable price. I think I only pay like 25 bucks for it. Uh, shout out to Quake for hooking me up with this, but bam, check it out. Hell bat suit Batman. You see the gold one everywhere, which is, you know, you think that would be the one that people would want because of the gold, but the black suit, this is amazing. And the wings, I can't wait to get this unboxing show. This is quite the piece. 25 bucks. I cannot believe I found it for that price. Yeah. And then another NECA figure that I, I was a really big fan of this movie. Uh, this is a Sam Raimi movie, I believe. The Trick or Treat character Sam. If you can see. Yeah, Sam. Um, this is a really cool figure. All the head sculpts. He comes with three different head sculpts. And then the two jack-o'-lanterns. And then all the additional hands. And uh, I think there's some other accessories. Uh, I'm really excited about this one. And then even down here you have his sack of goodies. Um, but yeah, this is an excellent anthology horror movie. Um, very funny. I would highly recommend checking this out if you haven't seen it. But um, yeah, I got this one from... Uh, where did I get this one from? I got it from Target. I got this from Target too. And moving right along, I found... I have no Robins in my collection at all. Not a single Robin figure. And I was like... Well, actually, I take that back. I, technically, I do. I have a Nightwing. But I haven't opened it yet or anything like that. So I was like, I want... I want like a really more traditional Robin character, but I had to settle for Damian Wayne, and this figure is awesome. I found it on my way out of Quake. I was leaving, um, and I was like, oh man, I hope they have one, and they didn't, but I was walking out of the store, and I happened to find him, and I was like, yes, yes, please. Really awesome figure. Uh, he's got, I like his, his boots. You can see there, they're like really well detailed. And his shurikens and his sword. This is like Prime Robin. I don't know a lot of people have been doing some retooling of him and repainting. And I think he's an excellent figure. Moving right along. Okay, so uh, I saw this and I was like, man, for 20 bucks? Yes, I, I absolutely have to have this. The Rocketeer. Yes, Billy Connolly as the Rocketeer. Or I should say in the film, Cliff Seckert. Um, I had to really, I was like, man, this right here for 20 bucks, you can't beat that. And all the details, he's got thrusters. He doesn't have a flight stand, which is weird, but 
not a big deal. I think I have like an extra one somewhere. But yeah, awesome. Had to grab him. And then I was looking for this variant of spawn, the gunslinger spawn. But I only found him with his um I only found him with the Gatling gun variant, the target exclusive one. But I wanted him with the repeating rifle and I found him. Check it out. Yeah. Super excited about this one because I've been definitely picking up or stepping up my spawn game. Um, I've been kind of sleeping on these figures, but this is a really nice one and he's got the holster for the rifle there. I just didn't like, I don't know, the Gatling thing, it, it was okay, but this look to me is just, it, it just was better for me. But I'm um, super glad I found this one. I think I paid like 30 bucks for this one. And... Got a couple more, if you can believe it. I saw this and I was like, man, I know this is going to be definitely a limited run figure and the prices on these are going to skyrocket, so let me grab it now. Check it out. Yeah, Basil Carlo Clayface. Yes. That is a massive boy. Look at that. I know people are kind of not too happy about the fact that he didn't come with any accessories, which, you know, some alternate like club hands or spike fist hands. You know, the, you know, very traditional fighting or weapons that he forms he would have in the films and the shows. Or the films, not the films. The shows and the comics. But this is an absolute epic figure, I think. And I absolutely had to grab him when I saw him. He was also there with, if you look at the video, you can see he was there also with um, the Titan Joker. Which, the Titan Joker's cool, but I honestly, you know, this might be sacrilegious, but... The Arkham games, honestly, they're starting to show their age, in my opinion. I think we have yet to see the definitive Batman game. That's what I think. And then, for some reason, he also comes with a stand in the back, which is funny, because I don't think he's going to have any problems standing up. Well, maybe he does. I don't know. We'll find out. And last but not least, actually, no, I've got a couple more. <laughs> um, we have Deluxe Mandarin Spawn, yes. As you know, I already picked up the regular Mandarin Spawn, but this was on clearance at GameStop for about $33. And the detail on this figure is absolutely incredible. Um, I know that this is a long-running particular uh, series for, for uh, McFarlane Toys, and they definitely have not skimped on this figure. Uh, he looks fearsome and absolutely ready to kick butt. Yeah, I couldn't pass this up. Look at that. Yeah. And last but not least, I paid $10 for this figure and I was I couldn't believe that it was only 10 bucks. Check it out. Zero from Borderlands the game. Look at him. Only $10 for this. I couldn't pass it up. I <laughs> I like playing the Borderlands games, but for some reason no one, I never had a good amount of friends to play with me, so they're not as fun playing solo. But uh, I do, I have played like pretty much all the games except the expansions. But when I saw him, he's definitely one of the cooler characters in this franchise. I think most people can agree to that. Um, and the detail on this is absolutely astonishing. McFarlane definitely went all out with this one, I think. The paint is great. Um, just the detail uh, that they put into this, really great. Um, Super excited I got this. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe. Let me know what I can do to improve these videos. Um, share them with your friends or family who also may have an interest in figure collecting and figure hunting. Um, I have some reviews in the pipeline. I've just been super busy. But um, yeah, that is pretty much everything. You guys enjoy the rest of your night and keep on hunting. Take care.